Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another Pioneer video. And so this uh, yesterday I posted my first Pioneer League after two years and today I'm gonna post the second one. And the deck I'm featuring today is the deck that I featured on the decks of the weekend, the deck that won the Pioneer Challenge uh, by McQueen Sauce. And the deck that's just straight up just dominating the format I heard his deck on the Midweek Matching and Podcast, the, the podcast I love to listen to. Harry MTG has been championing this deck, so today I'm going to play it. So, what is it? It's a pretty straightforward mono green ramp, to be honest. It plays 21 lands with mostly forest, useful lands in Poseju, Lair of the Hydra, and Nyctos Shrytonyx. Nyctos Shrytonyx is a really, really powerful card. It used to be dominant in Standard. It even got Oath of Nisa banned in Pioneer at the earlier of its start i believe that was 2019 and the oath of nisa makes so that you get an extra devotion it makes so that you get your consistency uh, this deck is uh, as i said very consistent you have to of course mulligan to your nuts or just to your elves which are lanora elf elvish mystic wolf willow haven or sylvan Caryatid. so you start off with those and then what do you do well, you have a mid-range side of the deck, which is just the old world troll Cavalier of Thorns. Those cards deliver your green, green, green for Nyctos, as well as just being like strong cards on their own. And then you have Planeswalkers. You have Cura's Beckoner's Behemoth. You have Carnegie Creator. You have Vivian Aqua Ranger. Nisa who shakes the world. And finally, you have Storm the Festival. Storm the Festival is a card that we've known in standard. Six mana. Sorcery, you look at the top five cards and you put two permanents into play with mana value five or less among them. So any, basically, you just look at the top five cards and you put any of them into play because this deck is only permanent. No spells allowed here. Uh, and then it has flashback. Flashback, very relevant since this deck makes tons of mana with Nyctus and you also have Cavalier Thorn that searches your Nyctus and uh, flashes back the Storm the Festival. The cyber is mostly a toolbox for the card. You have Meteor Golem, Statue, just the classic. The only card that you're gonna actually bring in are the Cages for Winota and the Polukranos for the Mirror Match. Ezekiel's Chariot is another card that you can pick up with Karn. And then you also have the one Vivian Akbar Ranger, which you can pick up the Meteor Golem and the Polukranos. Again, this is the deck that uh, ARMTG has been championing on the channel. I'm very excited to try it out. It looks to be a deck that's doing very, very well in the uh, Pioneer tournaments. Mono Green Ramp, let's go. All right, immediately found an opponent. Sweet. The Pioneer Leagues are uh yeah pretty pretty popular hmm that's fine i'm gonna keep this in i have a turn one lanora elf i can't quite cast the troll on turn two but all right the mirror match the mirror match and i'm on the draw so it will be of course harder Okay, I see this is a QR, I believe. Oh, it's a Voracious Hydra. Boom, that's the Mirror Breaker, apparently. Look at that. I wasn't able to disrupt my turn one elves with their Voracious Hydra. Strong. Of course, if they were on the draw, this play wouldn't have happened, but strong. Let's see if they have another one. I hope not. That'd be bad. I can fix their, uh, so now that they have three, um, okay, so now the Nyctos adds one mana because they have four. They can already play a card. They play a Kiora instead. Kiora on top of permanent, so you can get two mana back. Mm hmm. They only have one card in hand. Um, yeah, I guess I'm playing a Kiora. Yeah, no reason to untap anything. If they want to attack my Kiora for two, it's fine. It's basically the same as if I untap an elf. I'm never gonna block. I just have to hope they don't, they don't have a payoff now, because of course I'm very much behind in the mana section. Point is turn four, and they have so much mana here. Look how much mana they have. 
Look how much mana they have. They have 11 mana, 13 mana on turn 4. And they go Karn. And this game is over. I'm just gonna concede. Uh, let's see what they pick up. I probably pick up the Gold for a statue. But yeah, I mean, this is the classic situation in which you play the mirror match, your opponent goes off, so you get kind of get to uh, explore your opponent deck on the other side. They get the God Pharaoh statue. And this is the six mana card that says the spells your opponent cast cost two more to cast. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have a land. I'm just going to give up. But yeah, okay. That's fine. Now in the sideboard, some people play Hunt the Hunter. This list actually doesn't play Hunt the Hunter, we play only Polukranos. I uh, figured, I was thinking about how to cyber in the mirror, and I think it's just taking out the Sylvan Keratin for the Polukranos. Sylvan Keratin strength is having X proof, but I don't think it really matters in this matchup. Since, I guess they have Hunt the Hunter, but also I'm on the play. Polukranos is going to be strong, I think, in this matchup. All right, let's go. <sighs> On the play. I have to mulligan. This deck, I believe, has to mulligan the hands without uh, the um, Elvish Mystic. All right. And this end instead is only mana, but I don't think it's a problem. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of payoffs that you can draw by turn three or four, whereas the mana ramp you only have to draw them on turn on turn one or two. You can draw them later. And you want to enchant the same land because you have cards like Kiora that on top a land. And now I'm just sitting around, uh, waiting to drop payoff. No companions. Okay, that's good. I'll play the Oath of Nisa. Hello, Arena Craft Podcast. Pioneer, let's go, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for the... for the sub. All right. And uh, I'm going to fire off my Lair of the Hydra and attack the uh, Kiora there. Let's go. What's the matchup I've been seeing lately? I don't really play Pioneer. This is my second League overall. And I'm up in the mirror match right now. Lair of the Hydra? Oh yeah, Lear. The secret layer of the Hydra. How's it going, Arena Craft Podcast? You're excited to try some new formats. The 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 frontier. Now, what's it called again? Explorer. Sorry, Explorer. Anyone had good pools during pro releases? I opened a promo Esper Trium, but nothing really exciting other than that. But I did buy a. I did buy a. Um, Okay, I have Bozeju, who endures, but nah, I think I'm just, uh, I can make a wolf, actually. Maybe that's better. Mm. All right, my opponent can turn this up to a 2-2. Two, two. So if I want to make a wolf, how how much money do I need to spend there? All right, let me just do this to begin. So I have, how much mana? Five. So that's enough for the wolf Willow Haven. So if I do something like this, I have seven mana. If I spend five for make a wolf, I only have two left. And that's not that much. Hello, Chris Conte. How's it going? How's it going? I believe that. Making a wolf could be relevant. I guess if I put in floods out, which seems like they are doing it, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Oh, good. All right, all right. That's that's nice to know. I think what I want to do here is uh, just 
Just firing it off max. I don't think I should go for a token. Although the token actually does matter, I think. No, that's not true. The token gives me one extra mana with the Nyctos. I want to wait in this Boseju to blow up the Hydra next turn when my opponent tries to block mine, I think. So I'm just actually just doing this, yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing this here. I could do one less, actually. Yeah, because at the end of the day, my opponent is going to probably chum block here. So I just make a 5-5 five, five and attack you, all right? It doesn't matter that I make a 5-5, five, five, but... Yeah, I guess what I could have done was just keep up two mana for Poseju, because my opponent is most likely going to chum block anyway. Again, it's pretty irrelevant. Oh, they have Boseju. Oh, okay then. All right, all right, cool. Oh, pass, I guess. You need to remember, yeah. Yeah, the matchup game right now has this deck uh, very popular, so there is, of course, ways to... Um, I'm sure there's ways. To, obviously, playing the mirror match in first match is never exciting, especially... Um, <laughs> uh, this deck doesn't have any control over much, you just uh, draw your top, I don't know, 12 cards and hope they're good. It's it's what it is, it's what it is. Again, the, the pioneer gameplay is for sure a little bit simple. Okay, they got Sky Sovereign, which I guess it dies to this, but I need to draw something meaningful now. I do, I do draw something meaningful, that's nice. All right, now what to do? How much money do I have here? Um, okay, so how much money do I have here? Four. Uh, how much mana is this? Nine, perfect. I can go Karn and then Sky Sovereign to shut the Karn. They can go their own Sky and Sovereign. But then I can. So they can go their own Sky Sovereign here. Hmm. I think I like doing this, huh? Yeah, I think I like doing this. I shut the Karn. And then next turn, I can make a wolf and crew with the Mystic, because it has crew three. So I put it now attacks it with the elves, probably. It's okay though. Yeah, I love the pre release. I went there on Friday and Saturday. Immortal Sun. Unfortunately I didn't have six mana, but yeah, I, I could have done it for sure. They already played their one Bozeju, so I assume they don't have another one. Because people mostly did not attack each other. So everyone just plays one Boseju only. Okay, so they... Oh, wow. They shut off my elf and not the card. Sh sure, it makes sense. Draw. Oh, another land. <sighs> so now, I guess... How much mana do I have here? Okay, so this one does not add extra mana now. So how much mana do I have here? I have only eight mana. Hmm. That means that I can't accrue this, unfortunately. Hey, it's fine. I'll just make a wolf and pass. If I made a wolf earlier, I would have been able to crew the, the, the sovereign now. That's okay. You can still pass here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> hey, you're uh, full of house of elves. They have no cards in hand. And they crew the boat. Yep. Begin combat, and then I possess you the boat here. Okay, so we're the one on the boat, and they aren't. Screw. Let's let's make a wolf. And let's crew the Sky Sovereign flag console flagship. And boom. I could have shut off the QR, I didn't even consider it. Maybe that was a mistake. Yeah, it was probably a mistake. But anyway, oh you can't shut face, right? Yeah, it's creature points walk. If I had a wolf, I couldn't cast the card and sovereign in the same turn. That's true. That's true. Okay, looks like I put in Drew something meaningful. They have 10 mana. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a voracious Hydra. Wow. 
Let's see if they... Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice draw. They kill a wolf, okay. Draw something. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to, yeah, I'm going to attack face for sure. And do I want to attack Kiora or do I want to attack the, sorry, do I want to bolt Kiora or do I want to bolt, oh, I definitely want to attack them. Now the question is, do I want to attack Kiora or do I want to, sorry, do I want to bolt Kiora or do I want to bolt an elf? Because my opponent might need to leave back a lot of things next turn, not to die to my attackers. I guess it's the same. Maybe Cure makes them draw a card. I think I'm bolting a creature. Ups and downs. It has ups and downs, I think. Yeah, some lists play Cure. Sorry, some lists play Voracious Hydra. Some lists play Old Gertrude. Ooh, they drew Karn. Car shuts up the vehicle, uh, the vehicle, unfortunately. Yeah. If I kill Kiora, I wouldn't would have drawn one less card, and maybe I wouldn't have drawn the, the card. I think last turn I should have definitely killed Kiora over an elf. That was a, that was a mistake. I made my opponent, well, of course, I need to top deck this, but that's fine. You should just still play. Okay, so they got Zika's Chariot. Cool. Yep. Yep. All right. Oh, I, I need to get lucky now. Oh, we do. We do get lucky. All right. Uh, do I want to tap the Nyctos Shrine to Nyx? Hmm. I might not want to tap the Nyctos. Because I might flip something like... Hmm, what? Cavalier get... Hmm. Yeah, that's just top six. Okay, what do I flip? <laughs> Nothing really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Two permanents down. What are they? Nothing. Nothing really meaningful. I guess I can go Oath of Nisa and uh, what? I don't know. I guess if I tap this, now I could get Kiora and then tap it. Huh. Maybe. Anyway, let's get Oath of Nisa. Am I dead on board? Uh, I mean, pretty much. All right, I'm gonna get Oath of Nisa and uh, Wolf Widow Haven. Now I can't crew the uh, Sky Sovereign because uh, 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 it's, there is card. I'm not exactly sure how uh, can one get back after the opponent has the card advantage. Remember that uh, when you block with the old guard troll, it becomes an aura, but it still has uh, three green mana. Three, it still gives you three green mana with Nyctos Shrine and X. Okay, they have a Nyctus as well. So what Karn, what does Karn get that's like devastating? Well, go for a statue's good. Meteor Golem, not bad. This is pretty Pepe guy. Oh, you have Pestilence Calderon, which you can get and then cast the back section. Two creature, two target creature, land or planeswalker. So they can return this, yeah. Is Mono Green Devotion better than Mono Blue Devotion? Yes. All 
right, looks like they're deep in the thing there. Just, oh, they have another voracious Ira. Haha, <laughs> cool. They just go for a four or five. I think, I, ah, whatever. Let's just keep on playing, I guess. Let's just keep on playing. I have the flashback of Storm the Festival. Things can happen. I don't even know what, honestly. It's, it's I don't know. I can flip. Something devastating. I don't know what could it be, honestly. Also, uh, when playing the mirror match, you kind of get to learn by the from the opponent, maybe like exactly the the, the steps to make. Yeah, I haven't mentioned it yet because it's pretty um, unlikely to happen. But there is actually an infinite combo in this deck that involves two Karn, two Kiora, and uh, this card, the the Pestilent Calderon, which says that you return to target creature, land or planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand, each player gains for life. And what you do is that you keep on returning the uh, Karn and Kiora, and then Exiles. So you get back this over and over, and with uh, Kiora you keep on untapping your Nyctos with a very, very large Devotion. Something like, I think it's 14. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, Jumi, this card says each player gains 4 life. So it's a combo, but for both players. My opponent Tormod scripted me. Wow, that's sweet. So after a card, they got Tormod script to exile my storm the festival. Oh, interesting option there. So they have six, set the tredici, this is set. All right. Okay. All right. I hope my opponent can finally pass the turn, so we can tap. Maybe we draw a storm the festival again. I don't even know what I'm what to expect, but I have a lot of mana here with the Nyctos plus Nisa. I mean, if I get like a, I don't even know what can I get. Very very large uh, storm the festival maybe. Oh, Apollocanos, okay. Okay, so let's go Nisa. Let's play Apollocanos. Let's untap the. Let's untap the Nikta Shrine to Nyx. Hmm. Not much mod do I have here. Fourteen, so this can deal six damage. This can deal six damage. To these three cats. Then I have a large blocker for this. This one chumps there and I'm still dead. Yeah. All right. Cool, go pull the Kranos, that's cool. But what it didn't on top of the Varaches, Ira, maybe I would, I would have been able to to do things better. Mm. Yep, good games.
Campolucranos eat planeswalkers. No, I can't. Back in the days, things used to mostly only damage creatures. Oh, okay, let's go. Second round. Hmm. We don't know what. We don't have an elf, but we have the Karyatid, so that'll be that'll be okay. No elf, but yeah, Karyatid has X proof. So if my opponent plays uh, removal spells, we we get to still curve out Karyatid into Karn. Opponent looks to be on a uh, control deck there. Just sky control, maybe. Exile the triumph. Uh huh. Okay, and I'm gonna go car near. I'll uh, hold the Nykthos. Maybe people play. All right, what does car do? Uh, minus two immediately. I can get probably the Zika's Chariot. Yeah. Just a medium threats threat against the control deck could be fires yep could be fires this could be okay scorching dragon fire mm -hmm. the deck is gonna pick up strangle soon strangle is a really good card do i want to go chariot or cavalier i think i'm gonna get cavalier down good for my chariot for my nykthos And puts into play also the mystic. Kali or Thorns reminds me of the old standard days of Simic Ramp. Okay, let's cast this Oath of Nisa first. What do we get? A creature, I hope. A card, very good. Very good. Alright, let's go Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. Six mana, so I have at my disposal ten mana there. Cool. Uh, first, I can cast Anizika's Chariot. Let's see what I do about this. Then I can cast a uh, Karn the Great Creator. Uh, I guess I can cut a Sleep on Karyatid first. Then I can attack for five. See what they do. The Wandering Emperor. Okay. Sure. That is exiled. And then I play the Karn. Which I will once again minus two to get uh, to get something powerful. What can I get? Maybe I can get the Pestilent Calderon. Or I can get these guys called something like Immortal Sun or Sky Sovereign. Hmm. The pro opponent could have a sweeper here. Nah, whatever. I'll just get the Immortal Sun. So I made my lane drop. I've done everything. You can go. Wandering Emperor. It's harder to get Sun uh, with Karn. It is, but at the same time, if opponent doesn't kill my Karn, then I just pick up another Karn next turn. Whereas if they do kill my Karn and like Supreme Verdict, for example, uh, I love to just get the Sun down. Okay. Hmm. Nice. I'm going to drop the Mortal Sun here. Looks like they have a counter spell. Absorb. Sure. Uh, now I can play a new Nick Toss and activate the Lear of the Hydra. Is it worth it? Yeah, probably. It's fine.
So this will be a 6-6. Six, six. Capital. I'll put a chum blocked. See if they have a supreme verdict. They do. All right. They have two cards in hand only, and I'm now in uh, top deck mode. Cool. They don't have much. An attack for eight. Remember, the chariot can also copy the tokens of the troll that it dies. That's actually a powerful play. Would you want a librarian? Of course, if they exile it, it's gone. With the old, with the uh, wandering emperor. They play a Teferi. Uh huh. What you do with it? They take up to draw a card. Sweet. Needless spires. Okay. Uh. Hello to Mr. Mice HS. Thank you. Thank you so much for the the prime sub. Welcome. All right. Let's get a combat here. Uh, I think I'm gonna attack with uh, this at face and with this at Teferi. The putting then to nine is relevant, I believe. All right, and it worked. Cool. Put us two cards in it. They don't have the Wandering Emperor. They don't have anything. I have two creature land. They have two also. But theirs, so theirs can trade with my four four. But this is trample, so this will deal three damage. It will die, but it will deal three damage. Let's see what they go up now. Supreme Verdict. Okay. This will make the um, object. Ooh, that's powerful. It's very powerful. Yep, let's go card. They concede. Yep. Okay, the playing is controlled. I don't think our deck has sideboard at all. I don't want to bring in Polukranos. Yeah, we're just gonna run it back here. Definitely an easy deck to sideboard with. <sighs> Karna is the sideboard. Yeah, you also have Vivian, which can get access to your sideboard. It's, of course, much harder to things to do. The one Vivian with the minus five. You only have Polukranos and the Meteor Golem to pick up from the side. But yeah, of course, the more Let's go. Hollywood Fountain tapped. My turn. Perfect. We have, I've got a very good end here. Let's see if this elf survive. If it does, it can go off with my wolf with all havens. Uh, I wonder if I should go. Now nah, I think I'm gonna go Oath of Nisa Elvish Mystic here. Mm, Cavalier or Old Gorch? I think I'm gonna get Cavalier. Yeah, this is better. Cavalier digs deeper for a Nykthos as well as uh, uh, could put a Storm of the Festival into your graveyard. I've got six mana. I think I'm still casting Cavalier. 
Well, I guess I can cast Wolf Widow Haven first and then Cavalier. No Veil of Summer and this format is banned. Veil of Summer, not legal in Pioneer somehow. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, they get a Castle Ventress and pass the turn. All right, I have two, four, I have seven mana, so I can go Oath of Nisa first. And then I'll, uh, okay, it looks like they have six. So they're gonna receive a Storm the Festival now. Boom. What do I find? I find a Karn the Great Creator and an Oath of Nisa. And Oath of Nisa finds... Do I want to get Cavalier or Karn? Hmm. I'm gonna get Karn. I'll then minus two with this one. And uh, what do I want to get? I think I like to get Ezekiel's Chariot. This is a really good uh, mid range, uh, mid range card, I think. Put in, can I kill this card? But I picked up a backup one. Mm-hmm, Narset. I can pick up these this guy Sovereign to uh attack the Narset. Sorry to um Okay they passed. Uh how much money do I have? I have four eight. Mm, I have four eight. It's a little bit clunky. It's a little bit clunky. So getting the this guy sovereign here to attack the Narset. Let's if they have a counter spell. Okay. Huh. Now my opponent can uh, um my opponent can cast the Days Undoing. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill the Narset. Let's hope they don't have Days Undoing. I don't even know if that deck plays it. But if it does, uh, they can cast it, of course, now. They have six cards in hand. They passed. Okay. They can have the Wandering Emperor. I'll play these first, because if this resolves, I can I, I can cast an Ezekiel's Chariot with it. It looks like it does not. Okay, so I will uh, attack Narset. Yeah. All right, and Karn goes up. Five mana, it's a fairy. Can pick up a pithing needle if I want to. Hmm, they don't have a land drop. Wow, okay. Ooh, Nyctos. Very good. I'm gonna cast Storm the Festival to begin. Okay. Mm. Okay, Sovereign is in the graveyard. Hmm. I 
can get like a mid-tier golem or I can get the mortal sun. Mortal sun is interesting because it shut off my next Karn, but it's like obviously very good. Yeah, I think I'm getting the sun. Here comes the sun. Also pumps my elves. I think I'm gonna attack the Teferi, regardless of my son. The point I can get rid of it, so I, I don't think it really matters. But they draw an extra card. Oh, what the beginning of your draw step? I thought it was at the end step. Maybe maybe son was not great. I'm not sure. I don't have another Sky Sovereign. I, that could have killed the. No, I guess I couldn't have killed the. The Teferi. Obviously, I'm like doing very well here. I have two Storm Festival in the graveyard. Which I'll be able to cast next turn because of Nick Thos. This also discounts my spell of one. Other than pumping my my team. Opponent said GG. GG. All right, I'll take a small bathroom break and I'll be back after, uh, I'll be back for some new, some new action. Okay. GG. All right, on the queue again. I'm gonna keep this hand. If the Oath of Nisa turns into a forest. This is a good end. My phone was ringing. Now it was my father's. I don't have a. I don't keep the phone with the sound up. All right, uh, I think I need to, uh, I wanna just do this. Either land or elf is good. All right, playing against green white humans. Sure. I'm gonna once again go Oath of Nisa. I'm looking for a land. And now what do I do? I 
I can play Vivian and give the carrot the two counters. That doesn't seem great. Why has Pioneer become so popular over the last week? A couple of announcements just made the Wizards uh, move a little bit away from um, just standard overall and arena formats and get a little bit into Pioneer, both the paper announcement and also the arena announcement as of late. Thinking about what are my next step, because if I go Vivian, while it's the most expensive planeswalker of the two, it doesn't do that much. But I guess I can grow my carrot a lot. And they have to attack Vivian instead of me. Yeah, it's probably all right. And if I draw another land, I can like grow my carrot disproportionately, four nine with X proof. It's a Pro Tour format. The Pro Tour is like in nine months. It's 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 just uh, it's the people that hyped it up. As a uh, uh, Jazz Festi said, it's streamers like a sparring spike. They really just uh, they move the whole community. And that's good. I like it. It's pretty simple to see that uh, the gameplay of modern. I think it's a little bit better, but uh, you just new decks, new cards. It's it's cool. Yeah, right. Yogmoth won two challenges. Black Green Yogmoth in modern won two challenges. That's sick. I don't know how, but it happened. Okay, so. Hmm. Hmm. I can go Cavalier. Right? I can go Cavalier. Yeah. Get a Forest and then play Lana Elf. And then I can pump the Lanora Elf. This doesn't really seem a, a matchup. I mean, of course, you can like stumble, but it doesn't feel my opponent has any business. Oh, so yesterday you had a modern Polish Nationals. Cool. Yeah. They also had it in Spain, the Spanish National. Ooh, a reflector mage. Huh. Okay, it's not green white. Is it about the cavalier? Sure. And the champ attack? Okay. <laughs> look at my look at my look at my thick clanera elf here. Hmm. Who do you attack in here? Oh that Vivian. Look how much life the Vivian gained me. Eh? Look how much life Vivian gained me. At least at least eight. <laughs> I really do not know what to do. I just okay, so I can't play this, so at least that that helps. Alright, I guess I'm just casting this. Oh cost seven. Mm, sure, whatever. The deck is truly for the bottom clicker to be honest. Maybe we had some close games, but <laughs> I can knees on Nykthos. Now I can. And tap a forest. I guess I can even attack with it, which is cool. Six mana again. I can't cast this. Although, actually, I can. Because I can go Kiora. Huh, look how funny this is. Can I? Yeah, I can go Kiora. And tap Nykthos. And then I'm adding one devotion because of Kiora's. I can play a new storm in the festival. This is sweet. Look how look how much value we made here. Alright, and I get the troll card. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, we even draw a card because of Kiora. 
Did I make a... No, don't tell me I made... I'm... I haven't made a land drop yet. That's... That's insane. Oh, actually, though, I don't have mana floating. All right, whatever. But I conceded. Yeah. This is... This doesn't even feel like a opponent playing the same format as me. Classic. Poor humans. Poor little humans. They're so nice to everyone in the world. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna cut probably... I mean, Vegan did... I don't know. Honestly, I can't even say win me the game because the Lanar Elf wins the games. If you draw... If you if you mulligan to a mana ramp, I don't think you can lose the, lose the game ever. Duffo, good morning. I am Pitts. Thank you. Thank you. Six and seven months of subs. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to this Pioneer League where we are playing uh, the most basic deck of all time. Since Alphabet Unlimited, people used to play a turn one Lanor Elves, followed by, I don't know, Gaia's Liege and Crab Worm. And 20, 30 years later, it's thing like turn one Lanor Elf, turn two Wolf Will Haven, turn three Cavalier of Thorn. As if time haven't passed at all. Chris, hello! Seeing QR, but no Lotus Field. Yeah. It's Mono Green Solid versus Winota. I don't know, I guess it is, since Mono Green has been winning every challenge for the past two weeks and and Winota is a powerful deck. I mean if you just go turn one Cavalier. Sure, I mean Winota obviously can overpower you, but uh do a trigo, yeah. Whatever, I'll just go Cavalier again. Maybe I should actually play Nyctos here because of Thalia Eretic Qatar. Mm, yeah, I should have done that. Looks like they're tapping my Cavalier. Haha. -ha. Ooh, they get in for 7 damage, actually. I might lose this game. Thankfully, there's no Talia Reti Qatar. Ooh, the Beconner's Behemoth. So I get five mana. Allora. Let's play Cura first. Hmm. Then I want to... Uh, play Cavalier, draw a card. Uh, aspetto un attimino. Uh, I want to put an untap land to the battlefield, right? Yeah. I want to put an untap land to the battlefield. Now I can untap the Nicta Shrine to Nyx. Tap it again. <laughs> yeah, that's so busted. How much money do I have now? Nine. So I use five to play Karn. And then... So I can't play Chariot because it's a little bit overcosted with Thalia. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I didn't play it as well. I mean, I am totally clicking buttons, so whatever is happening, it's really out of my control. I'm just right here clicking buttons, though. Could be honestly anything could happen every turn. Uh, am I dead on board? Not really, but obviously I can't be. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that. Needle for Giant Killer. It's like the only play I can do, honestly. Everything else is out of the... Yeah, because of the... Because of the thought, I can't go Zika's Chariot. The Giant Killer. Although now if they have a Giant Killer in hand... Uh, 
It's bad. Uh, no reason for me to besiege you anything. Good morning, Milo. But this was turn five. Look how much value we made in one turn. We even drew a card. Luminaric Aspirant. Okay. Ooh. Am I dead? No. No, but non è che proprio me la passo benissimo, I have to say. When this dies, you make Xylet. If you do, put another card from your graveyard to the top of your library. What's in my graveyard? Oh, nothing really. Unfortunately, Karin can't get in Sneering Bridge in this format. No, it's not unfortunately, fortunately. Fortunately, let me rephrase it. Fortunately, Karin can't get in Sneering Bridge in this format. So my opponent can still maybe win this game. I have to, I mean, obviously, uh, I think they have to pump this. Yeah, I think it's bad. It's bad news here. What is Explorer missing to craft this deck? Well, Nykthos <laughs> It's pretty good. Okay, uh, who did you pump? You pumped this. Interesting. All right. Mm. So I block like this and I take nine down to one. That's like the only thing I can do, I think. I have to chum block the, this one. Mm, do I want to put something on top of my deck here? With Cavalier? I think I do. Can it be a Nisa? I think so. I mean, I could probably think more th through it, but uh, I'm just... I'm just... Okay, so, what do we do here? Um... Uh, <laughs> um, do we? Let's just get let's just get Nikthos out. Let's play Nisa. <laughs> so the thing is that if you want to play this deck, you actually have to think and count. But uh, I'm just living the moment. Worst case scenario, I lose the game. That's fine, right? Uh, okay, now, what do we do with Karn? Oh. What do we do with Karn? Uh, I can get Meteor Golem. I can get Sky Sovereign. And do what? Kill this. That's probably bad. I can do... Pestilent Calderon, get Restorative Burst, gain 4 life, which is not bad. And I get back another Karn. And Elanorel, for to a creature, land, or planeswalker. Like, the thing is that, how much mana do I have? I think I have a lot, right? Should I just tap the mana now? Yeah, I think I will. I just have so much mana. Alright, let's get the, 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 the thing here. The Pestilent Calderon. And let's restorative burst a uh, Karn and Lanor Elf. Gain four life. Now I can play another card. I can play another card. A. I can. Uh, mm, I still have to make a land drop, huh? I can activate the Nisa and then play a Nyctos. So I can activate the Nisa. I might as well just attack as well, huh? Yeah. It has Vigilance. If they want to double block, it's okay. No, I don't think I have the infinite combo. I'm missing a second Qura. Plus, I think you need 14 Devotion, which I do not have. Okay, now I'll play a Nyctha Strident next. 
and I will also untap the forest. Tap this for two and tap Nykthos. I'll minus Karn. Yes. Let's get Meteor Golem and shoot this. If I get back the, the Pestilent Cauldron, I'll then have three lands left. Chat says they have infinite life, but I don't see it, and since they don't say anything other than infinite life, I consider that a chat lethal. I'll uh, just get a Meteor Golem and shut off the 6-6, uh, six, six, I think. Obviously, there could be a lot of different play I can make. I don't see it, and I also am a streamer, so I have to click the buttons, and I just have to stay here waiting for someone to tell me how to play. I think I've done a pretty good turn. And you can go. <sighs> okay. This game wasn't really close. I guess it was somewhat close because they have to chunk block down to one. But, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, if you saw my, if you've seen my videos from yesterday, the uh, green white coco video with humans, that deck didn't feel powerful at all. And I didn't even play against the mono green deck, which of course is a zero hundred, maybe like a twenty eighty matchup. Okay, mm, I'm gonna risk it. I like. Bye, Conte. I like having elves. Of course, I can just draw land and it'll be fine. I can, of course, also like, kill my elf and never draw a second land and lose the game. And I'm okay with that. Thing in the ice. Land. Nice, Mango. Nice. Do I... Yeah, I think I want to ramp up. Instead of playing the old girl troll. Now I can cast the Cavalier of Thorns. Or if I draw land, I can probably even cast the Storm of the Festival. Because at 3-5, yep. Ooh, two thing in the ice. Scary. I fiery impulse one of my card. Ay ay ay. Scary. Draw land, Mango. Oh, that's not a land, my nudge. Is Old Girl Troll good? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, being punished for Mulligan in is the worst thing. Okay. They play Nisa. Uh, Nar said, I hope they don't find a burn spell for my elf. Or Days Undoing, of course. That's not a card that punishes you. Days Undoing Nar set is one of the combo of the format. They got Expressive Iteration. Oath of Nisa. Okay. I am just casting Cavalier, though. Uh, let me attack Narset. No, no, no. Let's just cast Cavalier. Wolf Will Haven so good. The, the, the stingy ice flips this still here. Ooh. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo hoo Nykthos. Should I get Nykthos or. Yeah, I'll get Nykthos. With the forest, of course, I could cast the Oath of Nisa, but at the same time, the Nykthos is so huge next turn. They flip things? Yeah, they can flip things next turn, but what can I do? Okay. 
that's good. They, 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 they let that die, meaning that uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to die to... Meaning that I'm not going to die to the days undoing. Although they also found a consider, meaning that these things in the ice are gonna flip and they will be attacking me for 14. So they're, they're going to be attacking me for 14 with the thing in the eyes. A walking door. Next turn. <clears throat> If I draw a land, I can go Ulgur Troll, Nykthos for 5, cast Cavalier, cast Elf. Let's see, hopefully I draw a land. Land for Mangu? Hmm. Okay, let's play the... Oath of Nisa first. That's pretty free since I'm assuming I'm getting a land here. And then I get Elf. Elf. I activate Nyctos. And I get 5 mana to play a Cavalier of Thorns. Wow, it bricked. That's fine. Unfortunate, but that's fine. I could have also gotten one old Gore troll in play and not two. I wanted to just be a little bit more more efficient. Ooh, a treasure cruise, boom. That's so cool to see treasure cruise cast. That's so cool that this card still is used by somebody. Ah yeah, yeah, is that a third thing in the ice flipping? One counter only remaining. They only have to play one spell and I lose the game because they will bounce the board again. Okay, collected the Fayans. Fine. Let's go to the second game. Uh, I don't think I have to cyber anything. Olukranos can kill the thing in the ice in theory, so maybe it's better than... I don't know, Nisa. I want a Kakarn. I don't want a Kathivian either. Hmm. Yeah, Vivian just makes your Olgor troll fight. I think whenever I bring in the Polyke, I just need to cut these. Is that right? To cut Karn and Nisa? Yeah, probably it's fine. Polyke just killing the thing in the eyes could be irrelevant. Although. Of course, it's nine. Nine is a lot. Nine man is a lot. Okay, very good end. Uh, what can this hand do? Do I want a bottom actually an honor elf here? Hmm? I think I will. Could it be punished for this? But, um. If they go like land shock, this dies. Yeah. Now. Now I wouldn't really be curving out with the Lanara Elf, so. I'm very happy I decided to bottom an elf. Jace, ooh, it's not the it's not the other one. Alright, much better. Okay, and I go poly K. Poly K is big. Mm, you can check the record of the league here. We're 2-1 down a game. It's uh, very uh, very well written here, in case you're missing uh, what are the score. Is that new? Nope, it's been there forever. 
It's just that uh, you might not know there is, so. Okay, so we have a very big poly K that can kill the Jace next turn with a land, although I draw a land, I mean, it depends, but most likely I will play Cavalier, maybe. Okay, they got Cavalier, uh, Collective Defiance the discarded, sure. Iteration, let's see if they find a land. The Arrow, yeah, down a game, red Arrow, up a game, green Arrow, and if it's game three, there's no Arrow, and it's written game three, so. All right, and they got Spark of Canal. Ooh. I think I want to Monstrous. I think I want to Monstrous. Of course, I could have gone Cavalier Thorns plus Lanor Elf, but I just want to kill a Jace here. Uh, Tower for seven. Poly K, World Eater. Boom. Poly K! Opt. Yeah, consider. Puna would have been able to flip the Planeswalker. Maybe like double fiery impulse my Poly K. Now, this is a 7 7, which of course they can either gust it and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Thing in the ice. Yep. They found one TT. Deep 16 cards in the deck. T T. And they go for a turn four one mana treasure cruise. That's powerful. That's very powerful. Storm the festival is uh, not castable yet. I put a storm in the graveyard. You can only monstrous once, remember. You can't monstrous again. I'm gonna pick up all my cards in hand once again. And now I'm afraid of a counter spell. I don't even know what counters they might play. Probably just Ether Gust. Second TT, ah yeah. Hmm. So they're playing a red burn spell. It's not gonna it's gonna work it's not gonna work because the, the first TT bounces the board before the fire impulse resolves. But at the same time of course it gets the job done. Like bounces the thing, attacks her seven. Petty Theft on the Wolf Widow Haven. Very strong play. Very strong play. Very strong play. And I went tap with only five mana and not six to play this from the festival. All right, I go 13 here. Hmm. Let's see what kind of draw. Lavish Mystic. Hmm. As much as I love Nykthos, I think I have to get Forest here. a forest to play the Yelvish Mystic. Maybe that was not good. Maybe I should play the Nykthos and pass because they're likely to have a uh, Flameless Bolt. Sure, that's Magma Spray. Hmm. I'm not gonna chum block. They have four cards. Let's see if they go like double bound spell or something. Hmm. 
eventually I'll for sure play my opponent's deck as well, as it does seem to be the the most fun in the format. Titi, collective defiance, what you do there? Mm, Alright, you're discarding your hand and drawing the and drawing that many cards and play opt. Alright, that's 14 damage. GG. Yeah, my opponent deck felt uh, very good. Probably it's a good matchup for them. This deck doesn't have a... Uh, I mean, you can splash black for Fatal Push, but I don't know. How much does that hurt your deck? Probably. Um, probably high amount. I want to say we always played uh, some very... Some very easy games today. The mirror match, it just got control, uh, mo uh, green white humans, and now this is a control deck. The games felt uh, super uh, easy to like. They kind of like play themselves. If you love the Hearthstone Battleground, Pioneer Mono Green is the deck for you. All right, let's go. Round number five. Hmm, I think I'm gonna mull again. Two five. Yeah, I'm on five. I don't think I wanna go to four, so I'll keep. Keep. I'll bottom these two cards. So oath of Nisa, look for an elf. Don't find it. I actually think I want to get Nisa here. I don't want another land. I already have enough. Get some payoffs instead. Okay, good news. It's Temple Garden. And an hopeful initiate. Very good news. It's another band to humans, looks like. I gotta just save time and concede the game. Let's go to game number two. I am going to side in a couple of poly K for Carnisa. Or two card Carnisa, yeah. Could have modeled it to four, I guess. Maybe I should have. Okay. If I hit a land, this hand is good. If I hit a land in the top four card, this hand is good. Should I risk it or should I go to six? If I go to six, of course, I can open another bad end. So I think I'm... Chirrut stays in the sideboard because you can pick it up with card. Found the land of the fourth card. Mm hmm. Okay. Should I go just old girl troll? Nah. I should probably go Wolf Willow Haven, Lanora Elf. And just uh, set up better for the future. They can, of course, go bounce the Lanora Elf. Hmm. Should I chum block the. Sorry, should I block the Kithion? Ah, whatever. 
As long as I can deploy my plan, I'll be fine. Plus, they can give Indestructible to Kithiana while that buys their old turn. I don't, I don't, I don't want to lose a Lunar Elf. Again, the matchup is good. We just need to deploy our game plan, and it'll be fine. So Cure costs one mana because I cannot have the Wolf with a Haven. So I can go Cure or Ogre or Troll to draw a card next turn, even if I don't draw a land. All right, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> it's a bad draw. Uh, so I can't go Cure. Uh, no, I guess I can still go Cure uh, Ogre or Troll. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I think it's all right. Because I really want to draw land here. And Kiora makes me draw a card. And even if they, like, bounce the Ogre Troll attack Kiora to death, it's fine. She did, uh, she did its job. She gave me a card and saved six life. And that's the strength of Planeswalker against Aggro deck. They, they, like, eat a lot of life. Sorry, they let they just eat a lot of damage. Because they have to attack them instead of you. Protocatar and my deck doesn't play Voracious Hydra. So the Qatar is straight up a removal spell. Hello Stormbred Dragon. I'm not playing Ulamog or Ugin. I guess because they are too expensive. You don't need them. Cure is a lot of loyalty, for sure. Attack Jiri Fable. Wow. Well, I guess I can just tap it for mana then. Gira, 38 months. Hey everyone, say hello to my favorite LGS owner, Pop Deck Psy where I played my two pre-release this weekend. Buongiorno, Gira. All right, I have to think now, which sometimes in Magic it happens, you actually have to think. Cabaret tips it, yeah, the, the rebranding. I can just go seven mana storm the festival, close my eyes. I think I like that. Ah, that's fun. That's fun to just close your eyes. Cost seven, yeah, let's do it. Boom, seven, storm the festival. What do we find? Two lands and two storm the festival. Not very good. A, I pass. Well, how many did I choose at the pre-release? I chose uh, Riveteers and Maestros. Florent, thank you for the five months sub. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I have five, I'm, a, I'm a five life here. That's fine. I can go Karn. I mean, we'll see what happens. How much loyalty is this? Three. Portable hold, oh no. Oh wow, they got the Wolf Haven instead of the Elf. Interesting. Card costs five, huh? I go troll at five mana left to play Karn. I'm gonna go Karn Cheerio, that takes 10 mana, I don't have them. Mm -mm -mm. I can go Karn and Needle, that takes 6 mana and play Troll. Then I block the Opal Initiate and I not I don't, I don't die. That looks fine, right? I'm not that on board if I go Karn Needle on the Gideon. And then I tap out for a troll. I don't die on board. I think I like doing that. So I tap six. I go Karn. 
Oh, it's seven actually. Spitting needle costs more. That's fine. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. What's the name of this card? Gideon Battle Forged. Pass. Flashback cost ten. Because of Thalia cost eleven. Now on my five, I can block with Kirati the 2-2 and with Lanor Elf the Hopeful Initiate. Ooh, I just realized that I can use the Hopeful Initiate ability to kill my Pitting Needle. Oh, I didn't think about it. Ah, yeah. I didn't think about it. Okay, I guess we'll lose. That's fine. I don't think we've run particularly well in this match. The other match kind of rode themselves. This one, yeah, I think we just run a little bit bad, but it's, that's that's part of the game. Oh, wow, looks like they're going towards the Karn and not my face. Interesting. Mm-hmm. See what we draw. Oh, funny. <laughs> You're the only card in my deck I couldn't cast. Let's play the troll. I mean, if my opponent doesn't see that they can pithing needle, they can kill the pithing needle with initiate. They don't really have that many good attacks. Oh, another Reflector Mage. Okay, that's fine. That'll be the end of this uh, Pioneer League. GG. That's cool. It was quick. Um, again, I don't find the deck particularly uh, fun to play or anything, but uh, I am just uh, showcasing uh, the format, decks after decks. Maybe one day I'll find something fun. Is it? Is it? I think, I think is it? It's where the pioneer is at.